Did you just buy a product? Do you know you are influenced for your purchase? Did you know that psychology plays a crucial role in crafting successful commercials? I'm Nidish Parikal, a director with over 15 years of experience in advertising and film. I've directed more than 150 TV commercials, two feature films, and several TV shows. My background includes working in advertising agencies such as PBH, Group, VML, and Fontanet, and have worked with leading brands such as Abbott, Vivo, Times of India, Uber, to name a few. And in addition, as a creativity coach and a psychologist, gives me unique insights into what makes a commercial truly effective. In this video, I'm going to break down how understanding the human mind can elevate your ad campaigns and connect with viewers on a deeper level. Stick around and you'll learn how to tap into psychology to create ads that convey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are exploring a fascinating topic that's the heart of every successful advertisement, psychology. Ever wondered why certain commercials stick with you long after they have aired? Or why you feel compelled to buy a product after watching an ad? It's not just clever marketing, it's science. Today, we are diving into how psychology shapes successful commercials and how understanding the human mind can help you create ads that resonate, persuade and ultimately sell. Let's get started. Let's start by talking about one of the most fundamental psychological principles in advertising, emotional appeal. Emotions play a critical role in decision making. When a commercial makes you feel something, whether it's happiness, nostalgia, fear or excitement, it's tapping into your emotional brain. This is why so many successful ads focus on storytelling that evoke strong feelings. Take Coca-Cola, share a Coke campaign for example. By personalizing bottles with people's names, Coca-Cola created an emotional connection that encouraged consumers to share and buy more. The joy of finding a name or a friend's name on a bottle turned a simple purchase into an emotional experience. But it's not just about making people feel good. Fear and anxiety are also powerful motivators in advertising. Fear-based advertising is often used in public service announcements or insurance commercials. These ads tap into our primal instincts for survival, making us more likely to take action. For instance, I'm a parking gate and I'm all out of whack. Please ticket. It's gonna take a lot more than a little ticket to get out of here. <laughs> and if you have cut rate car insurance, this could leave you all bent out of shape. <laughs> So get all stayed and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Oh, someone! That's broken too, pal. <laughs> Please insert your parking ticket. Allstate Mayhem series uses humor and anxiety to show the consequence of not being properly insured. Driving home the importance of their services. By highlighting potential dangers, these ads play on our desire to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Social proof is a psychological phenomenon where people follow the actions of others, believing that if many people are doing something, it must be the right choice. This is why testimonials, user reviews and influencer endorsements are so effective in commercials. Apple's shot on iPhone campaign is a great example. My life, my life, my life. 
by showcasing stunning photos taken by everyday users apple not only demonstrated the quality of their product but also made others want to join the trend the message is clear if so many people are using it you should too the scarcity principle suggests that people place a higher value on things that are scarce or is in limited supply when a commercial tells you an offer is for a limited time only it triggers a fear of missing out or fomo making you more likely to act quickly think about amazon's prime day ads this prime day discover a world of happiness with great deals new launches feel the joy and blockbuster entertainment get ready for prime day 15th and 16th july join prime now where deals are available for a limited time the urgency created by these ads drives consumers to make purchases they might otherwise put off Now let's talk about color psychology and its impact on advertising. Colors aren't just decorative. They convey emotions and influence perceptions. Red for instance is associated with excitement, urgency and passion which is why it's often used in sales ads. Blue evokes trust and reliability, making it a favorite in financial and tech commercials. Hi Jitu, here's the product. Ready for shoot? Yes sir. Take one and action. One card. India's own mobile first metal credit card. Zero joining fees, zero annual fees and absolutely no hidden charge. 5x rewards points bhi hain jo kabhi expire nahi karenge. And cut. Nice shot Jitu. Tracking of rewards, rewards redemption. Are ek hi line ki script thi na? Offers, bill payment, sab kuch app se ho sakta hai. And to apply just download the one card app. and instantly get your virtual card are camera to band karo ye kaha ja raha hai aur agar credit score na ho ya low ho to fd banwao aur 110% ki limit le jao kya baat kar raha hai really to jao download one card now and sometimes brands like ikea use it pam 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 फर्नीचर दट ग्रोज विद यू घर आ जाओ कम होम टू आई किया ब्रांड्स केयरफुली चूज कलर्स टू अलाइन विद देयर मैसेज एंड द फीलिंग्स दे वांट टू इवोक इन देयर ऑडियंस टेक मैकडॉनल्ड्स फॉर एग्जांपल देयर यूज ऑफ रेड एंड येलो इज इन जस्ट आई कैचिंग to the people who reach into a carton of warm crispy golden perfectly salted mcdonald's world famous fries and return with just one who are you and how do you do that bada ba 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 it's designed to stimulate appetite and convey a sense of speed and efficiency lastly let's explore the concept of cognitive biases and how they are used in advertising Cognitive biases are mental shortcuts our brains take to make decisions quickly. Advertisers often leverage these biases to influence consumer behavior. For example, the anchoring bias. The anchoring bias occurs when people rely too heavily on the first piece of information they receive. In commercial, this might be the initial price of a product which is then followed by a discounted offer, making the discount seem even more attractive. Another example is a bandwagon effect where people are encouraged to do something because others are doing it. These biases help guide consumer choices in subtle but powerful ways. Now as directors, we need to be aware of what is driving consumers to purchase which will help us to effectively craft a TV commercial. The landscape of advertising is changing. It demands us directors and especially commercial directors to be on top of the game i made another video on the future of advertising which i definitely think you should check out so that you can prepare yourself for what's expected in the future and there you have it six key psychological principles that shape successful commercials by understanding how emotions 
social proof, society, color and cognitive biases work, you can craft ads that not only capture attention but also persuade and convert viewers into customers. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment with your thoughts on psychology and advertising and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on filmmaking, advertising and storytelling. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating and remember, understanding the human mind is your greatest tool in crafting successful commercials. See you in the next one.